settings. So what we have added is like an app drawer and you can move the apps on the home screen. And you can also add shortcuts and things like that. So the only thing is uh, right now you can't actually remove apps. And so when you add it to the home screen, there's no way to remove them. And so that's what I wanted to do here in this video. Um, so I've taken a look at the basic launcher here. I updated the compile SDK version to the newer uh, versions and Gradle and all that. And so it should be all updated. And what I wanted to do was actually add a trash bar at the top of this. So like an icon for trash and you can drag it into that. And so the first thing I have already done is actually went to Android uh, Asset Studio. And this is online. I use this all the time and you can get a bunch of image resources. And so I downloaded the delete icon, uh, colored it red to make it easy to see. And then I put it into the project. So each of the folders, it has the IC underscore delete icon. And so what we're going to do here is get that to show up when you're dragging an app. And so uh, the first thing I want to do is actually create a custom uh, home view. So right now we're just using a relative layout and that holds the app drawer and the apps that are added. And uh, what I want to do is turn create a custom view. So new Java class and that will be the home view. And the super class would be a uh, relative layout. And so when we press OK, OK, so it says it already exists. So I previously created it already. So whenever you first create the class, it will be like this. And what you want to do is create the constructor and choose the first three. And then what I wanted to do was add a method to show the trash and to hide the trash show show trash and then we'll have hide trash and the reason I'm doing this is just for organizing things better uh, putting it in this separate class and here we have those two methods. And so inside of the activity home, we can change this relative layout here to the home view class. And so that's how you would do that. Now it's going pointing to the custom home view that we created over here. And then in the main uh, view here, I want to add the actual trash icon. So I'm going to put it like in the middle here, project, and choose the delete icon. And then this is a little small. I'm going to make it a little bit larger, probably 50 dp. So let's try that. All right, so you can see that's a little bit larger. And so whenever we are dragging an app, that should appear, and we'll drop it into there. Uh, so by default, this should be gone. So Android visibility gone. And we'll change this to trash. And then this ID here, inside of our home view class, uh, we'll do find view by ID, r.id.trash, and set visibility to visible. Now we're going to do the same thing for hiding the trash, except uh, this time we're going to make it gone. And so now we have this app touch listener that's for dragging the icons and stuff. And whenever that is initialized that's when we need to 
show the trash. So let's do go to declaration. So we have two two areas where we're doing this. We have it inside of pack and shortcut pack. So so this is on long click listener because when you long click click in an icon you can drag it. So inside of here we can get the home view. So we have this relative layout here for the home view. We can change that to all right, we can either change it there or just cast it to a home view. I'll change it here and then we'll have to change change it in other places as well. So home view for adapter dot show trash. That's that's it. And then whenever it stops dragging, we'll have to hide trash. But we have pack and we also have shortcut pack. So let's do the same thing in shortcut pack. So we have long click listener here. So before we set the touch listener, we'll show tr the trash icon. And we'll change this to home view. Okay, and then also uh, this is going to be need this is going to need to be final. And we already did that for the pack class. Okay. All right, so now I'll just show you real well before I show you in the app touch listener in action up, we're going to be hiding the trash icon. And so we need to get the home view and the home view would actually be uh, v dot get parent and then we'll cast this into home view and then dot hide trash. So now let me show you in our app what we're doing. Okay, so it says build failed. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. We needed to change this. So the type of home view of our home view, we need to change it to home view it's instead of instead of relative layout so that should fix it Let's see if there's anything else okay so also over here so we have home view for adapter being declared here let's just change this to home view we'll change this to home view and then let's look over here. So in the later build, uh, Gradle build versions, you actually don't have to cast uh, views to a type. It automatically does it for find view by ID. So you can just remove those. And then let's try it. Build success. So it's launching it in a second here. So whenever we start dragging Chrome, you can see that the trash icon appears. When I drop it, it disappears. That doesn't actually work yet, but that's just showing how it kind of is going to work. And so what we basically are going to need to do is uh, whenever um, the touch listener action up is called, uh, that's where we're going to check if the icon is touching uh, the trash icon. And so that's basically what we're going to be doing. So in order to help do this, I actually created a method in a different app here called view to rect. And so it's converting a view into a rectangle. 
uh, class and I want to put that inside of our tools class. So we have a bunch of tools here. Let's just add that in here into our arsenal. And so that will call that will create a rect for for the view. So I'm not sure why we're having to pass in rect f. That's because the way I was doing it before. So is there another one? Okay, so yeah, we'll just use that. And let's remove this and just make it rect f r equals new rect f and then let's let that take care of it okay so now in the touch listener and so the home view we can let's make it easy to detect if it's touching the trash icon and so what we'll do is just make a method here public boolean is view touching trash and then that will be easier to use so in order to do that well that will also be passing in a view and so this will be view b alt enter import okay is view touching trash so the reason i wanted to make that uh, method and tools is because it just makes it easier to detect and so what I'm going to do is first we'll have rect f for the trash icon so we'll tr call this trash rect equals tools dot view to rect and the view is find view by id r.id dot trash and then we'll also have a rect f for the view itself so v rect equals tools dot view to rect and v and then this class makes it easy because now we can just do return trash rect dot intersect v rect. And then that should work in theory, but a lot of times it doesn't. And code <laughs> sometimes all right so basically what we want to do now is make sure that this method is working so in our app touch listener in the action up we can do if if so for one thing let's actually make the home view easier to access so We'll have home view HV or I'll just spell it out home view equals home view v dot get parent and then let's use this where we did this method and now all we need to do is do if home view dot is view touching trash and then we pass in the v and then hopefully this works. And then what I want to do is log 
dot D and we'll do BL I guess for basic launcher and then we'll do yeah app is touching trash and then let's make sure that this logging works so we're gonna run this I like to open up terminal to do the logging adb logcat dash s b l all right so now so we're going to drop it out here it shouldn't log anything but if we drop it in here it says app is touching trash okay so we know that that works it detects whenever the icon has been dropped onto the trash icon and so since we know that works uh, what I'm going to do is convert this into a boolean and what I'll have a boolean that says should should delete item and then we'll just equal that to home view that is touching trash okay and then we can remove that and so we're already opening up the serialized data to save and so we'll just extend it on here so if should delete item and then we'll also have an else which will just move move the app if it's not deleting it so instead of should delete item then we do app data dot apps dot remove and then the p for the pack and then so this is only deleting the app from the data but it's not actually removing it from the view so in order to remove it from the view we'll do home view dot remove view and then just v and then we're going to do the same exact thing for the shortcut so right here i'm just going to copy and paste that this will be the if else statement and then we're removing it from shortcut data and home view dot remove view v stays the same so let's now test this out all right so we have an app here let's try deleting that all right so that deletes to add another shortcut And let's try removing this shortcut, move things around, and then let's close the app. Let's open it back up. You can see everything that is there needs to be there and everything that is deleted isn't there. So that concludes this part of the series. Uh, thank you all for